gonna be a wet one. Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, it's a cold, very cold set today. Morning, wet. Uh, Southeaster's blowing, it's kind of cold. Um, I've been advised by parental units and friends uh, to take it easy today because the wind's blowing like crazy and uh, it's cold and wet. But isn't that the point of mountain biking? We, um, we endure the cold and the wet to be able to play in the mud and the rivers. Um, today I'm going to head to Kai Forest and some of the green belt and I'm going to take you along with it to see how much the water has risen and how much, how big the rivers are actually. And the one that you saw now, I remember as a kid, flooded completely. And um, it flooded all the houses around the bank. And uh, we were in one evening trying to help these people move. And now this area is closed completely and it's been, how can I say, dammed up uh, to protect the houses around the river. Cool guys, but I'll see you on the, on the trail. And uh, hopefully it's going to be uh, a safe one. See you guys later. Remember yesterday when I showed you guys the river and I said, well, that one flooded a couple of years ago when I was a kid and we actually had to help out people move in the evening. Um, it flooded and they kind of sorted out the river so it won't flood the area again. Have a look at this. That's just from one night with rain that happened last night. Well, actually what I cycled through most of yesterday and then last night. It's insane how much water is going to come from the mountain and go straight into the, the ocean. Oh, it's rained a lot. I think a rainbow is in order. Let's find out there's a pot of gold in that one. To give you guys perspective, I'm going in there. We are going in there to play in the mud and the rivers. You keen? I think the trick to stay out of the elements is to stay in the shade of the trees, stay protected and the cover. The wind's not going to blast you so much and you won't get that wet. But like this, Not always possible. This black mud is so slippery. If you don't have the right tires on it on your bike, then you're gonna slide up pretty quick. Right, the trek into the mountain has started and it looks adventurous to say the least. I mean look at this. It's going to be so much fun when we're wet and try to stay out the wind because some areas are really exposed. Hey guys, all I can say is I've just started my ascent and um, it's nasty. It's cold, it's very windy, the rain's coming down pretty quick. I think it's below 10 degrees already. It's going to be an adventure. It's going to be a fast bait all the way to the top, I can tell you that much. These dongas or ruts or erosion paths, what do you want to call it? They're getting so bad that some places over two, two foot deep. 
you think I'm joking when I say some of these dongos, rats or erosion piles are oh, two feet deep. You think I'm joking? Have a look at this. Right, I don't know if you can see me. I'm almost, I think, halfway up to that river, the waterfall. All I can say, it's tough. Um, my fingers are frozen, my toes are frozen. The shower at home is going to be awesome and that that cup of coffee. My lips are numb too. You know, Oh, I love nature so much. Twenty meters, you have reached your destination. Hey guys, as you can see, I've gotten where I wanted to be. My favorite place. Um, All that effort was worth it, definitely. It's raining straight now, it's not so much wind, but I'm still very, very cold. I think that bench is gonna start when I go down. I don't know if I'm gonna try any other single tracks, because they're gonna be muddy and slippery. With views like this, mountain biking is well worth the sport. I mean, I'm sorry, look at this. It's freaking amazing, especially where the water drops right in the camera lens. I finally made it at home after I think four and a half, five hours in the saddle. Um, it's cold, wet, I can't feel my toes, my hands are dead. The only thing left to do is this.